This project that uh, Richard Mulcahy approached us about um, immediately caught our attention at Unifar around the board table because uh, it was a classic example of a project with fantastic simplicity that we as a business could get involved with, we could get our communities uh, that we serve involved with, um, and it was so practical. Um, I mean, one of the big challenges that one has as, a, as an individual, never mind as a business person or as a business, is how do you get involved with doing things that are environmentally positive, given all the challenges that we face? Um, and the idea of planting 100 million trees really caught our attention because there was an opportunity for us as a business to do something that was simple, practical, our employees could understand, our customers could understand, uh, and we're doing something that's going to be of long-term benefit, uh, not, just to, not just to the Irish economy and to Ireland, but also to uh, the planet. We are beside Dublin Airport, you probably hear the planes taking off, which is, uh, I think, is a very appropriate site because we're going to be planting uh, 1,800 trees to try and neutralise some of that carbon. And we're here in Ballymun Kickhams. Uh, we've had a great day with about 50 kids planting trees uh, with our parents and Unifar have been fantastic. They're going, to, uh, they're going to sponsor us for this year to plant 200,000 trees and we've actually had a lot uh, we've talked to a lot of companies, but Unifar are one of the genuine companies who aren't greenwashing, they're actually out there doing something. And the beauty about what we're doing and Unifar can see is, is when we plant the trees, you can go on our website and you can see every single site that trees are planted in. So we're very thankful for them. The 100 Million Trees initiative I think is really important as Unifa is a proudly Irish company and this being native Irish trees um, is really important for us to make our stamp on the future. We might not see these trees um, go up long term but at least we know the future generations will be able to see it. I think that's important um, also to mention that in Unifa we have five sustainability pillars and pillar two and three is the community involvement and the third one is uh, sustainability um, because it's so much more than just sponsoring an event or making sure that the trees are here but it's people, you need people to make the change it's a behavior and a mindset change so making sure the community not just buy in but feels part of the journey is really important to us as well because we're here today as, as a club coming together to to add a, add greater value to, to, to the environment and, and, and make a bit of a difference so we're planting 1800 trees here this morning lots of people from the club have got involved and um, yeah it's been a great excitement here all day today we've seen we've seen something in the news in Glenstall Abbey and uh, we thought geez maybe as a, as a club we could be one of the first clubs in the country to jump on board the initiative and, and add an impact to, to the environment and make that bit more of a difference um, away from the football side of the, of, the, of the pitch. So it was obviously it was easy for the club to facilitate in terms of the trees were, were provided by the 100 million trees project. Obviously Unifar got involved from a sponsorship perspective as well. They made it very easy for everyone who was just organising a day, getting the land cleared in advance and just identifying a time and a, and a, and a day that suited everyone best. So it's brilliant to work with, with the guys and the girls in the 100 Million Tree Project. Their expertise was fantastic and the fact that they were able to donate so many trees to Ballymore Kickhams was, was absolutely wonderful. They're, they're a joy to work with. All it cost us was time. That's it. You know, that's... It was all funded by Unifar and they've helped to sponsor the, the, the tree project here today and they've been great. They've been a great help in planting the trees and also in sponsoring the project as well. So we're delighted to have them. Now, one of the really fascinating things about this project is that it requires a very small area of land because of the style of tree planting that's involved in this. So it's a project that anybody can get involved with, individuals who might have a little bit of land that they'd like to grow these trees on, or businesses like ours that might have spaces around uh, some of their operations with a little bit of green space. Um, and indeed, you know, you can get your employees involved as well because they can help with the planting. Um, so it's just a brilliant initiative. One of the biggest challenges that businesses face is we want to be environmentally aware and alert. We want to do the right thing. So you're looking for projects that can actually deliver something practical, but that people can understand. And the beauty of this is the simplicity of it um, from, from, from our perspective and from the business's perspectives. Uh, one of the things that's, that really we have noticed made a huge difference is that the media have started getting uh, following us. Uh, so we had the uh, we were on uh, the RT news a couple of weeks ago, and after that, we had 317 pe people offering us sites, which was phenomenal. Which goes to show you the power of the media. Today uh, we had uh, Virgin Media here, and hopefully that's going to uh, you know spread the word more. And really, we're depending on people like the media to promote this. 
it's all very well. We'll come out here. There'll be you know, there have been probably a hundred people here between children and adults, and uh, who'll spread the word. But we need the media to promote this. What we're doing here today could be done all over the world. Is getting trees into the ground, and it's the fastest way, the quickest way to pull carbon from the air. And it, it's so simple, and yet everybody's looking at complex ways. We want the media to get behind this and keep pushing this, actually doing something about planting trees instead of talking about it. If this project is ultimately successful in, in actually growing 100 million trees, it'll take 2.5% out of the carbon that will go into our, our own atmosphere. That has to be good for the planet. I think the challenge often for us is, we know we should be doing more good, but we just don't know how practically we can achieve that. This is such a great example of how you can do it. Um, and here's a really simple, practical way that you can actually do that and do something good for the environment at the same time.